Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll be working on this fall split flannel tumbler. I hope you find all of the tips, tricks, and inspiration on my YouTube channel for your tumbler journey. Let's go ahead and get into this design. So we're gonna start out with this printed vinyl. This is from North 80 and I will tell you guys, this pattern was from last year and I didn't realize until I went to get the supply list that she is no longer selling a majority of her vinyls. So you'll have to compromise and find something different or comparable from another supplier as this is no longer available. So we're going to use the hinge method to apply this vinyl and I did not measure this, I just cut it where it made sense on the pattern so it was just kind of flush with the um lines of the flannel i guess i would say um so i just cut that and centered it in the middle of my tumbler using that painter's tape at the top and bottom to kind of use it as a guide to make sure that i had it semi even in the end you won't be able to tell that i didn't measure it because we're going to line it with vinyl striping um, but just use that if you don't feel like measuring anything out and then we're going to score that seam and cut that with the exacto knife and peel away any of the excess Next, I'm going around the tumbler and popping any air bubbles that I may have gotten when I laid that vinyl down. If you're using the hinge method, they should be pretty minimal. And then we're gonna use our painter's tape to cover up the center portion of the vinyl so we can go to spray paint without getting any contamination from the paint onto the vinyl. Once everything is covered up, we're gonna go in with an ivory and a gold spray paint in those white sections. We're gonna use gold right next to the painter's tape, and then we're gonna use ivory on the bottom and the top, and we're gonna do our best to get those as ombre as possible. We are using a pretty transparent ivory glitter so it will show if you get too much gold into the um, ivory sections so using the epoxy method to apply this we're going to go in with venetian first just very lightly into those ivory sections just to give it a little bit of depth in the background next we're going in with athena and we're going to go pretty heavy-handed right along that tape line on both the top and the bottom we want it very concentrated and then we're going to tip the tumbler at about a 45 degree angle to ombre that down into the ivory we don't want to angle it too far because we're working with a very short real estate surface and so we don't want it to go all the way down into the ivory but we do want that good blend um, in the end between the gold and the ivory i'm making sure to tap off any excess really well so we don't get any of that gold glitter into chantilly once we go in with this next portion and then i'm gonna go right in pretty heavy-handed with chantilly in that ivory section just to make sure that's full coverage we don't want much more gold in those sections and then once that is complete we'll go in with goddess to fill in and kind of fine tune the blend in the gold make sure we've got full coverage on both colors of our glitter and then tap off any excess that you may have with the gold and then i'm going to immediately go in with a gloved hand prior to pulling the tape just so we don't get any glitter in the vinyl sections. Once that is completely patted down, we are going to immediately remove the tape so it doesn't get stuck and cured to our epoxy once it's dry. Once that is complete, we'll let it sit and cure overnight. And then I'm going to spray seal that three times with Krylon Triple Thick Spray. And we're gonna re-tape that vinyl section because we're gonna add just a little bit more glitter. This time I'm gonna use Resin Rockers UV Resin to apply this next coat of glitter. First of all, because I want to continue to try this out before I recommend it to you guys, but also because I don't want this resin just sitting on top of glitter with nothing full coverage on top of it because it will drip as it's hanging up to dry um, and it will cause 
drips and running and things like that. So we just want to avoid that. And then we're gonna go in very, very, very lightly with Campfire. This is from Peachy Olive Glitters from last year um, in one of the palettes and it is perfect for fall, but it actually matched this plaid orange vinyl really well. So I thought I would just add that to kind of tie that vinyl in to the gold and the ivory. I thought the gold and the, the ivory was kind of too Christmassy or wintry. Um, and so I wanted to add a little bit of more like orange kind of coppery fall vibes to make sure we weren't leaning too far into Christmas with this design and it wasn't too far off course. I picked away any of the little copper orange glitters that kind of strayed too far down into the ivory with my hand. You guys, please use proper PPE and gloves. I, this just, I wasn't even thinking. I just like stuck my finger in, <laughs> in the resin and we probably should not be doing that. So um, don't be like me, just use gloves and whatnot if you need to do that. Um, but we're gonna let that cure in the sunlight and then we're going to pop the top off of not the top, the bottom off of the um, this 24 ounce plump from the Tipsy Magnolia because I wanted to do a glitter booty and tie in again that orange into the bottom of the cup as well. So we're gonna use a mixture of pumpkin, panum, and the swamp. These are all from Peachy as well. As always, I have a discount code for you for Peachy Love Glitters in the description box as well. And then we're gonna spray seal that once it is completely dry and do two coats of Flynn Sisters Artist Cure Resin over top of that. This was basically smooth at this point. And then we're gonna go in with this gold textured vinyl from Cricut. I believe Tech Wrap Craft has this brand as well. But I cut this out at 0 0.10 by 11 and a half width. And then for the smaller vinyl stripings that you're gonna see here in just a second, I cut that out at 0 0.08 by 11 and a half width. I am planning on doing another round of these smaller vinyl stripings in the flannel section of this design, but I wanted to get the decal on first just to make sure I had enough room. Things didn't look cramped, stuff like that, before I had applied um, that second set of striping. And I cut this out at two and a half inches high. This is an SVG I found on Etsy. Um, that two and a half inches was including the offset. I did the offset at 0.55, I believe, um, or 0 0.60 maybe it might have been. Um, and we're gonna lay this in sections because it's so detailed and there are so many waves and things like that. We're going to layer it in sections so we don't um, kind of get off course with the offset. I guess I would say. Um, we just want to make sure it's all lined up good. And then once that was all applied, I put this on my turner after I put the second set of vinyl striping on there. Um, and we're going to go over it with a coat of polycrylic just to make sure nothing moves. And then once that air dries for probably 20 to 30 minutes, that's going to depend on your environment, how hot it is, how cold it is, um, just dry to the touch. We're gonna go in with one final coat of Flynn Sisters Artist Cure Resin. I'm surprised it didn't need two coats, but it worked perfectly with just one. And I do have a discount code for the Flynn Sisters Supply Shop as well. If I 
have not mentioned that already. Um, and then once that was cured, this cup was completely done. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell button for future tutorials. And I will see you guys next weekend.